I am filming this video literally five minutes after the premiere of the readathon announcement. That's how excited I am for this. Hello everybody, my name is Danny, and welcome to my channel. Today I have my TBR for the Mini Aurelium Readathon for Lightfall also called the Old Favor Pass. There's a lot of words involved in the title of this. I'm not too sure exactly what it's called. Basically, Aurelium is this huge readathon hosted by G from Book Roast where there's been multiple like iterations of it over the past year or so and it's like magical school setting. Super duper cool. I will link her channel down below for you to check out and look at all those videos. Basically, this Upcoming month in December, there's going to be a mini readathon within that world taking place from the 9th to the 18th. And the like premise of it basically is that you know the end of autumn is coming, it's the, the start of the cold season, there's some festivities happening, and we're going shopping. And so there are uh, six different stores that G has created, and each one has a different prompt. Well, okay, there's five stores, and then there is this pub that, like, the only prompt for it is, like, come hang out during, like, a stream or something. But um, there's not, like, a book prompt for it. So there's five stores, and I picked a book for each one. I don't think I'm going to be able to read five books in nine days. I might. I might surprise myself. It's happened before where I've read a ton more than I thought I would, so who knows. But I have picked a book for each of these prompts. There's also like secondary prompts for each one, like there's the main prompt and then two bonus activities. I'm not worried about the bonus activities, I'm just gonna do the main ones. But I have picked three that I'm actually going to try to do, and then I've just picked books for the other two prompts so that I have something in case I have the time to read it. So we're going to go over the three that I'm considering to be mandatory for myself first, and then the other two. So let's get to those. Starting with Old Tales Bookstore, the prompt is to read a mystery or thriller, and I am going to put In a Cottage in a Wood by Cass Green for this. It is a mystery thriller, and I don't really know much about it, except that it takes place in the woods, presumably at a cottage. I don't know, I didn't intend to read this in December, but then if you saw my TBR game, this ended up coming up anyway because I needed a book with cool tones on the cover, so if I have to read it anyway, I might as well put it on this TBR too. Next up for Wallace's Wonderful Winter Wanimals, which is quite a mouthful, the prompt is to read a fantasy, and so for that I'm putting The Silver Tracks by Cornelia Funk. I am so excited for this book. Y'all already know this. You guys know I love Cornelia Funk. Reckless is one of my favorite series of all time. I just want to read this book immediately, but I will save it for the 9th to the 18th to be for this readathon. And then the last of the prompts that I'm considering mandatory for myself is Smith and Friends and Sons Arcane Goods and Such. And the prompt for this is to read a contemporary, and for that I'm putting The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Sitterfield. I guess technically this is historical, but it's the closest to contemporary that I have, so we're running with it. I'm putting this here. This is the third book that I'm definitely 100% going to try to read during the week that this readathon takes place. And so the reason those three I'm considering mandatory is A, I feel like three books in nine days is definitely doable for me, and B, they're already on my TBR for the month through my ski BR game that I play, and so I'd be getting to them anyway, so that's why I figured I'd fit them in. The other two prompts I could not fit in books from my other uh, TBR, which is why I'm not considering them mandatory. They are, if I read the other books, these are ones I'm going to try to get to that week. So let's go over those two now. The first one is for the shop of Occult Premonitions and the prompt is to read a sci-fi. So for that I have Dealing in Dreams by Lilium Rivera. I don't know much about this. I think it has to do with like tech stuff and like rival gangs. I know it's queer. That's enough for me. Um, so I have had this book for a year or so now and have yet to pick it up. And so I'm gonna hopefully do that within this readathon. And finally, the last shop is Shawl and Shank Legitimate Retailer, and the prompt is to read a horror, and for that I have The Haunted by Danielle Vega. Ignore this sticker up here, it says 
Walmart price, fifteen twenty eight. I bought this at the dollar store, so I only paid a dollar. I guess they got it from like Walmart for overstock. But this is like one of the few unread horror books I have on my shelf. I'm pretty sure I only have like two. Maybe this is the only one. I don't even know. I just saw it and I'm like, oh, that seems interesting. That's going to be a quick read. Let's put it here. So yeah, I know it's the first book in a duology. I know Danielle Vega writes YA horror. So I'm assuming this one's also YA. I, other than that, I don't know much about it. So I'm excited to get into it. And if I can fit in during the week, I will. And so looking at this stack, it doesn't seem too bad, except maybe the 13th tale seems a little bit chunky. Uh, Dealing in Dreams is kind of long, and so is Reckless, um, The Silver Tracks, but I feel like they might go fast. And then In a Cottage in a Wood and The Haunted both are pretty slim. So I'm, I can, I can almost definitely say that I'm going to get these top three books read in the week. These bottom two, not so sure, but we're gonna give it the old college try anyway and see how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to vlog this week. I have so many vlogs going on right now, you guys have no idea. Although, I think I'll only have one vlog still ongoing at that point, but um, we'll see. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'll decide the closer we get to it, um, but for now, that is all from me. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel for more content, and that way I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.